Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back to our Adventist Health Wellness Kitchen. Priscilla Madrano with the Edible Schoolyard. Kern County is with us today. Priscilla, good morning. Good morning. We're making granola, and I love homemade granola just because you know exactly what goes into it, um, and you can control it and really make it fit your own taste. Yep. Um, everyone loves it, and it's way more economical this way. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with our dry ingredients, okay? okay. So let's talk about our first thing. So if you could add our, um, our oatmeal. Okay. To the bowl. I'm gonna have you do all the dry stuff. All right. So Just lots dry of dry rolled oats. Yep. Okay. Regular. Our um, shredded coconuts, mm. unsweetened. Yum. Yeah. That Which again, so tons good. of fiber. So good for you. I love coconuts. Mm -hmm. Let's do our proteins. It's gonna be our pumpkin seeds. Love that. Which you could do any sort of nuts that you want. Mm. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, walnuts, and this is a little different. Okay. So it's um, quinoa. I was wondering what this was. It's quinoa. Yeah. So even dry quinoa. More protein. Yeah. Mm. And quinoa is pretty amazing because it's a complete protein. I don't think I've ever put quinoa in and my granola before. And a little bit goes a long way. Okay. So you don't need that much. Okay. Otherwise, you can really taste it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do the wet and our salt too. And our salt, of course. Always of course. our. Oh, I so love it. Out. Salt with the sweet and the granola. It's good stuff. All right. So okay. with our um, oil for the day, we're gonna be using some Buena Vista edible squared olive oil that was just harvested a few weeks ago. Oh wow. All right. That's amazing. And I'm gonna eyeball this because mm -hmm. that's just what I do sometimes. I'm gonna do about. <laughs> A half a cup. Okay. All right. And this was about how many cups of oats? Two cups. Two cups of oats. Yeah. And you could double this, triple this, as long as you have enough um, baking sheets. Look how beautiful that is with the coconut and the green pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to add in my honey. Mm -hmm. But if you had maple syrup, I know I like it with maple mm -hmm. syrup inside because I love the flavor. But this is our local honey. All right. And again, if you don't want to use uh, olive oil, you could use coconut oil, mm -hmm. canola oil, but really you should be using like an olive oil or like Something a coconut oil. Something with some really good health yeah, benefits some heart as well. Health. Yeah. 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 I like the thing about granola. Um, you can really just uh, switch it up. You can change the oil every time. You can change the sweetener. Yeah. You can change the additives. You can put nuts in there yeah. instead of seeds or vice versa. Oh, whatever spices you want to. Mm -hmm. If you want to get a little crazy, you can use uh, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Even turmeric would be really nice Ooh, in this. I've yeah. tried that. But right. your house will smell amazing, especially if you put like cinnamon in it. Oh. So good. Right, so I'm gonna pour in. If you could, so I'm gonna pour okay, in okay. the wet. If you could scrape out yes, the. Yes, I am. All about using every single thing. Mm-hmm. All right. And again, your kids could help you do this in the kitchen too. They can mm -hmm. measure. They can whisk. All right. Want to make sure all that is evenly incorporated. Beautiful. So we're gonna want to put this on a sheet pan. Okay. Um, we, so we don't want, want our cranberries. Not or those for yeah, later. Oh, added okay. at the end. Because oh, okay. if we were added right now, they would get really hard in, in the oven. Oh, uh -huh, maybe that's yeah. the mistake I make. Because <laughs> I do. I put <laughs> them in the right with everything else. All okay. Right. So that's how it should look. Well, so you want to put it on a sheet pan and kind of pat it down and put okay. it through 50 for about 20 minutes or until it's nice and toasty and just okay. leave it alone so you get those really nice clumps. Okay. All right. So don't don't try and toss it off the sheet right away. Just you want to let it leave sit it. and cool completely. Yes. Okay. So this is Beautiful. what it should look like. And when did you put end? the cranberries on? At the end? Like at the end. So whenever it's cooled, oh, okay. toss it together with, with whatever dry oh, okay. fruit you want. So it could be dates, cranberries, Ooh. um, apricots. Dried yeah. apples, whatever you want. Okay, yeah. dried apples, very yummy. So All this right. is what it should look like. Beautiful. I don't know, can we get an overhead shot of this? It's really beautiful. With, this with really all nice the colors. colors. Yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to try some. Is that okay? Of course. Please. Okay. That looks really good. Mm. We make this with our fourth graders, and it's always a really big hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a snack that kids really can yeah. make themselves for the most part. Yeah. Mm. Really on. great. Over yogurt, with milk, whatever mm -hmm. you want, or just by itself. All right. And we're going to post this recipe on our website, kget.com. Priscilla, thank you so much. I appreciate you, it. And we'll be right back.